Perfect. If I'm gonna press this button, I can get more! Oh. Ah. Hey, Tony and me! Huh? Ah. What is going on here? Oh. Can you guys shut the f*** up? Yeah. Jesus Christ, shut up! What is going on? What's the guys doing? Ah. Can you be quiet? I'm trying to sleep! Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and we just keep getting characters in this Road to Elite Smash. Uh, last time we got Minecraft Steve in Elite Smash, bringing our total Elite Smash characters to 51. And with Steve having a really broken moveset and also being the only character in the game that is officially banned, it is no surprise how easy that was. Now we're doing another character from a single series today, and while this character wasn't nearly as broken as Steve, he was still broken in his debut Smash game. And of course, I'm talking about Olimar. He was actually really good back in his debut generation of Brawl, but has kind of fallen off in the later years. As for which alt I like to pick, I like to pick this red spacesuit alt. I think it will be a great idea to do some exploring with our favorite little flower children. Alright, first up we have huh? a Byleth, but I have no idea what that tag even means. I'll just assume that it's a, like a Jarisk or something. Alright. Well, that, anyways, that is Olimar's Pikmin, his little flower children as I like to call them. But yeah, I gotta be careful as to how we use them, and I'll explain a lot more on how we use his Pikmin effectively as Violet just keeps firing a lot of arrows. Alright, yeah, unfortunately, having to take a loss from that, so... Alright, but yeah, let me talk about his Pikmin, actually. So, so you see, we're we're pulling a lot of different Pikmin, and and that are his main attack options, like Down Smash, which pushes it to the side, and we have Purple Pikmin doing a great amount of work. So yes, Olimar's Pikmin go in a certain order. They go red, yellow, blue, white, and purple, in that order. And they rotate just like that. As you can see, Pikmin can die. Did you know that? Pikmin can die. Now you know! So I'll show you how they work in a little more in just a second, as we get back to stage. Huh? If you focus on that little red arrow over the Pikmin, that tells you which Pikmin Olimar has on hand, which can, he can throw with his side B, or he can attack with any of his aerials or smash attacks. So that was the white Pikmin. White Pikmin are usually the weakest. Purple Pikmin, which I just attacked to, is Violet does another SD. Purple Pikmin are usually the strongest. So we'll be able to show off a lot more of what these Pikmin can do in the very next match. Alright, up to the second match, and a good up tilt and up smash from Olimar. As you saw, that yellow Pikmin, good down throw, almost getting him with a forward air. And his Violet's starting to fight back a little bit, so that, as you can see, that was our side B. I'll show you a little again with this white Pikmin, as Violet whips it. Have you ever heard the sound of a breaking up? Violet! Uh-uh! Would you like to? <laughs> we get that F smash with the yellow Pikmin. So yes, Pikmin have, if you use a side B, they can latch onto you and do more damage. Similar properties to like Isabelle's fishing rod, where if it hits the shield, it doesn't really do anything. But yeah. And the power of this Pikmin are very much varied, depending on the Pikmin that you throw. So for example, White is the weakest, but it's doing some good damage. It will take him with up throw, Olimar's, one of Olimar's kill throws. Four throw and back throw are also kill throws, but up throw you will be seeing me use the most, as it just helps out the most in that situation. So that's his Nair and up tilt. They look really similar, but Nair is like slightly different, as he's not grounded when he does it, obviously. So now you got two Pikmin on Byleth, just hammering away more damage, but they are dead. So yeah, also pay attention to what Pikmin I have on hand, as we unfortunately die. But they run on a set rotation, as you can see. That rotation, of course, is red, yellow, blue, white, and purple. And they actually have different set powers. We'll need another forward throw. And unfortunately missing the forward air, and Byleth dies once again. But yeah, we'll also talk about more about his up special, Wing Pikmin, in this very next match. Alright, looks like we have Shulk up next, and while that's a pretty scary matchup, I think we can play our distance safely with the Pikmin, so let's go ahead. Alright, so, yeah, he's doing some pretty good damage so far. 
All right, let's try to get an up tilt. Nope. Ooh, two up tilts and nothing so far, but it's all right. I'm sure we can get another up tilt there somewhere. Bring me in there. All right, there we go. There's one. We got two. All right. Nice. So let's see if we can get some Pikmin on him, if we can. He's in Buster mode right now, so we got to be careful about any damage he does. But it looks like he's not doing any so far. It's just a very quick SD, just buffering the counter. All right. All right, he has Buster again, so he's still doing more damage. And remember, Olimar is really light, so especially if he switches to Smash, we could die really, really early. So just got to be careful for that as we just throw out some more Pikmin. All right, so Dash Attack, pretty good. More or less just a combo tool and nothing nothing else really. So alright, a good down smash. Nice down there with the blue Pikmin. Ooh, and they misses the air dodge, so that's another SD for soul, because we're just, you know, sweating our arms. Alright, Buster for the third time already. So we still live that since the knockback is is very weak when it comes to Buster, but he's in smash mode, so. Yep, there we go. That's what happens. And he switches the shield now. Maybe he could, like, loop him with this up tilt? No. Oh, never mind. He jumped out of it. I thought I was just gonna, like, loop him instantly. Alright. Gotta be careful. He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, yeah, so... That is not good. We're on our last stock, but so is he. And he's going jump, and... Are you kidding that's me? That's three SDs. I can't really believe it, but, uh... Yeah, I don't think that Shulk really wanted to attack us, so uh, we'll just go ahead and take a free win. The same Byleth from earlier? Well, alright. Hopefully he doesn't SD too much this time, since we have a lot of SDs with that Shulk last match. But yeah, let's talk a little bit more about Olimar's Pikmin. So, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this already, I probably haven't, but Olimar's Pikmin have different um, damage ranges as to how much they do. So. Yeah, he's doing a lot, and that should get us into upper yeah. layers. Perfect. So yeah, of course, the strongest of Olimar's Pikmin is definitely his purple Pikmin, and part of the reason why he's so good, because if you get three purples on the field, he is a menace. The weakest is going to be the white Pikmin. As you can see, it dies really, really early, but it can be thrown the farthest. And ooh, you saw what I tried to do. I can actually attack while using my up B, the wing Pikmin, and, uh, unfortunately, that does send us into free fall. And a good forward air from that red yeah! Pikmin. But yeah, so, for the wing Pikmin, you can attack off of it, but if you miss, you are trapped in the free fall. So, you gotta make sure you have some safe ground. That's some good other hit. Can we do the third one? We can! That purple Pikmin. I'm telling you, the strongest of the Pikmin. And able to land those three good hits on Byleth. And looks like he just landed on top of us. Alright, looks like we have Joker up next, and that's an even scarier matchup compared to Shulk. And I don't feel like this guy's gonna be SDing around so much. And yeah, he's already cooking. He's one of the good Jokers on Elite Smash. Another up tilt. Unfortunately, missing the up smash. So yeah. When I was talking about the, the Wind and Pikmin earlier, you can use them to fly, and it's actually pretty great, just like that stage spike we got. But yeah, as you see them flying away, the Wing Pikmin normally help Olimar recover, and this can be very, very good, or not so good, depending on how many Pikmin Olimar has. And in fact, the, my the my type of Pikmin he has, unfortunately got hit by that f smash. but yeah. The type of Pikmin that he has actually depends on how high he goes. So for example, if he has more purple Pikmin, he won't go as high since purple Pikmin are more heavier. But if he has something like white Pikmin, they are more likely to not um, drag him down as much. So yeah, nice. I gotta get out of here! And unfortunately, the yellow Pikmin not picking up on that kill as it's just died before and the back air just sneaked its way through as Joker's still having Arsene. Gotta be careful. Oh yeah, not looking too good right now. Alright, back up. Stop! You violated the law! Good F smash. Good F smash from that purple Pikmin. Because they have white on deck next. So let's throw him there. Good range. Gets him to 17%, so that's not bad considering short blocks lifespan. If that isn't attended to, he can do a lot of damage. 
All right, push him away with that blue Pikmin. All right, looking good. All right. He He's right behind me, isn't he? Where's the S match? Nice back air from that purple Pikmin. And already, we're just seeing the different styles of Pikmin at work and showing how all of them can be really, really useful in that situation. Funky time! That's right, we got Donkey Kong up next, and this should be very good for us, considering the fact that Donkey Kong is very big, and we'll definitely be able to get some very good hits on the big monkey himself. So yeah, already getting him to 36 just like that, only really sacrificing the yellow Pikmin, getting him to 47. Another down throw forward air with the blue Pikmin to 66. We're all doing really good so far. Alright, another grab. Alright, that's fine. He's at 183, so he should be in the kill range to a up throw. Otherwise, we do have a purple Pikmin, so... <laughs> so a nice back air from that purple Pikmin is going to do the job as well. So we're going to cycle, actually, to white Pikmin. And by doing down B, if your Pikmin are desynced from you, they will come to you. But it also changes the order of which Pikmin you have on hand. So as you saw as I pressed it twice, I had purple in front of me, but after doing it twice, I had white. Ooh, the yeah, no, that's not good. Yeah, he already got us that big monkey clap of his. Because we have some new Pikmin on board. So purple, blue, and white should definitely do the job to take out the second stock. Nice up smash. Ooh, and a nice low back air from that purple Pikmin. As soon as DK on his last stock. Gotta avoid that big wow. clap at the cost of the purple Pikmin, unfortunately. So we'll have to wait a while until that purple Pikmin comes back into rotation as we just pulled out a red. Alright, good back throw. Trying to wait to see if he rolls into it. Not so far yet. Nice down smash and a forward throw coming up. There we go. Alright. Now let's go catch him with a roll in. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, would you look at that? It was actually the okay. white Pikmin that took the kill, as White Pikmin is the weakest of the bunch, but hey, any Pikmin can do anything. Alright, looks like for our last opponent, we got Roy. Now, this could be go either one of two ways. Now, with Roy, you can definitely exploit his recovery with it being pretty small, but at the same time, Roy is a really good tipper, and um, we're really light, so that could be a problem for us. But so far, we're doing a really good job. Getting him to 82% already without a single scratch on us. They're taking him to 95. Alright. Getting a little more damage, but we're at 21, so we're definitely in favor to take the kill first. Just gotta be careful of his big sword. Nice down smash, though, on the roll in from ledge. Because he only has two more stocks left. So Nair up till. Unfortunately, doesn't get the second one. You can sometimes get a second one if they don't jump out of it or DI it. Another yellow Pikmin coming in. Now, yeah, I haven't talked about his tilts, but you can use them if all of his Pikmin are dead, because they're just a nice giant fist, a little slide with a nose for his down tilt, and unfortunately sliding out into the blast zone for the loss of the first stock. He's at 114, so we do just need a nice good hit from one of the Pikmin, or ooh, he's he's pressuring us. Not looking good so far. And, oh, back for oh. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Oh no. Yep, I didn't expect back throw, especially at that point. And it doesn't really do that much, which kind of threw me off and put it in perfect range for getting hit by that F smash. And he is just not approaching, so we just gotta get him with a grab at some point. And yeah, he can't really approach, so this does make it a lot harder. But there we go. Alright, 190, he should definitely die to this up throw. There we go. Alright, Purple Pick went on deck next for this last stock. In order to get into a late smash. Alright, good up tilt. Doesn't get the second one, unfortunately. No grab either. Alright, but there's an up tilt, and a nice up air from the red Pikmin. Alright, gotta be careful now. 116 to 106. Alright, he hits. That's a good down smash. And the air does- and he doesn't make it back! There we go. As Olimar, now I would just say is the Pikmin wielder of Elite Smash. Taking it into Elite Smash. Well, when it comes to Olimar, it's definitely an interesting subject to bring up for sure. 
I definitely think that Olimar and his Pikmin, his little flower children, definitely did a good job here today, despite the fact that I don't really like Olimar. I don't like playing him as much, and I don't really like playing against him. I think his playstyle is kind of hard to understand if you're not a pro at the game already, and it definitely makes Olimar a really hard character to pick up and really enjoy since most of his playstyle is just playing it safe with those Pikmin and just cycling to get the right Pikmin in his hands at any one point, because his moves without his Pikmin aren't very good otherwise. But yeah, at least with Olimar, I at least did just well enough in order to get Olimar into Elite Smash, and honestly, I'm pretty proud of that. I don't think there's any more work to be done, and the fact that I got Olimar in Elite Smash is probably enough work, to say the least. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and smash that subscribe button with any Pikmin of your choosing for that matter. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.